hi everyone in this tutorial we will visualize our data so for visualization you can use uh, different visualization libraries of python but i will go with matplotlib okay so just write here i am not i am from matplot from matplotlib i am prt import pyplot splt so if you don't have matplotlib then make sure that uh, you should install it so just write here pip install matplotlib and this will install matplotlib but if you get any kind of error this means that uh, you do not have microsoft visual c++ build tool okay so just go to the official website of microsoft.com and uh, here uh, in the visual studio you will find a section with the name uh, build tools and just download those build tools and if you don't know just go to you YouTube and there are a bunch of videos and tutorials out there on how to install build tools so just download and install build tools and then uh, install matplotlib using pip command okay and after installation of matplotlib just restart your uh, visual studio code okay and after uh, reopening the visual studio code just uh, import matplotlib like this and we will use this pyplot module of matplotlib and i'm importing this pyplot as plt so after importing matplotlib first of all we need to instantiate figure okay so uh, i will say figure figure is equals to plt dot figure figure okay and it's very important to instantiate figure when you are using matplotlib with streamlit okay so after instantiating figure let's visualize our data so here uh, i will say plt dot plot okay not pl plt dot plot and then i need to pass my arguments my x values and my y values and make sure that you should pass here list okay now here one thing that i'm thinking is that instead of passing this uh, data as my x-axis list i will pass here a simple numpy array as my x-axis list okay and then i will replace the values with these dates using the xtix function of matplotlib okay so now let's create here here a simple array and i will name it like index index is equals to and i will say np dot uh, uh, a r a n g a range but we need to import this numpy okay so just write here uh i m p o r t import and you m p o n m p as n p so make sure again that you should have n p okay if you don't have just write here p i p install n p okay so uh we need to use this arrange function of n p okay which will allow us to create an array of specified length okay and now the length of my array will be equals to the length of these dates list okay so just write here l e n here and then just write here d a t s dates okay and i think it will work fine and now here as an x axis i will pass my indexes okay and then for the y axis uh, i will pass my these options but uh, let's create here item variable okay item is equals to shop shop data okay and then shop data and then we need to pass here the column name and in this case my column name will be this option okay so just write here sorry uh, opti on option okay and i need to convert values to list okay so just write here list list and then put this line inside this list function okay and now here i will pass item item now uh, outside this for loop i need to print my this figure on the streamlit web app so uh, just go outside this for loop and write st dot write function and as you know very well that write function is a swiss knife of streamlit so with the help of write function you can actually write anything on streamlit web app okay so i will use st dot write function and then i need to pass here this figure okay so just write here uh, f i g u r e figure okay and now let's run this application streamlit run data visualizer dot py hit enter and uh, let's wait okay so this is our app browse files select files open them and uh, select i will select this shop one this shop two and then this shop three okay and i will visualize this uh, maybe let's for now just uh, remove these two shops and just select this gpu 
and yeah this is my graph so it's looking awesome okay so this is how you can actually visualize this graph but currently i know i know very well it's very very weird so we will modify this graph as well and now let's suppose that if i want to visualize this mouse item yeah it's mouse and what if i want to visualize uh more than one shop data okay so let's select here shop 2 as well and let's select here shop 3 and as you can see it is updating in real time okay so now we have this line for shop 1 this blue for, for shop 2 and then this green for shop 3 i think so okay so we will assign labels in a moment as well so don't worry but uh, let's visualize this keyboard and yeah everything is working fine so this is how you can actually use streamlit for data visualization and it's working fine now let's modify this graph for now and here as you can see that we have 0 1 2 3 okay so we need to replace these values with actual dates okay and for this purpose i will use x stick function of matplotlib so open with vs code again and uh, here here where is my op okay so here uh, i just need to write uh, plt plt dot uh, x ticks okay so x ticks and now first of all we need to define here the value which i want to replace okay and in this case i want to replace this indexes okay so just write here indx index okay and i want to replace this index with these dates okay so just write here dats dates okay now let's save it and uh, let's uh, rerun this application again browse files select these files and select shop one shop two okay select this gpu and yeah but but here is a bug and that is as you can see my these dates are overlapping so how to solve this problem so the solution is very simple uh here beneath this x text so you just need to write plt dot gcf okay get current figure dot aut or auto format fmt auto format underscore x d a t x dat okay and then this will solve our problem so it's quite a big line but yeah this is what it do okay so let's save it and now let's uh, refresh this thing browse files select these four files okay and uh, shop one shop two okay gpu and yeah as you can see now we are getting quite better output okay so we have tiltness in our labels okay and now let's modify this thing a little bit more and here i'm thinking that uh, i will assign a label here and a label here and then i need to assign a title here and i need to enable a grid system inside this as well okay so let's do this process so first of all uh, let's write uh, a label okay so just write here plt dot x label okay and on my x x is my label will be d a t e dat okay and then for my plt dot y label my y label will be like uh, i sorry itm item okay and uh, let's save it and now let's before i actually reload it let's give a title as well so plt.title title and my title will be something like chart chart okay and uh, let's uh, enable grid system as well so just right here just right here plt dot grid grid okay and then by default uh, it will be false so we need to make it true so just pass t are you true here okay and now let's save it and uh, let's uh, reload this application let's browse files okay select these four files open them select file of shop 2 shop 1 shop 2 cpu and yeah now i think it's looking quite good but again here i am thinking that uh, instead of uh, writing here item or charts uh, i will write here that item name which is i'm currently vi visualizing and here i will write the same thing okay and as you can see here we are s visualizing cpu so instead of writing here item i will write here cpu and instead of writing here chart i will write here cpu chart okay so let's do this process and uh, here is my item so just uh, remove this thing okay remove it and uh, i will pass my option here so opti on option okay and here i will say 
opt ion option plus okay and then this chart but make sure you should uh, use a white space a blank space here okay and i also i'm also thinking that uh, i will use here some kind of markers okay and uh, i will use here some legends for these lines okay in order to distinguish between each line okay so let's use legends and markers so here uh, where is my where i am plotting this line okay so here i am actually plotting the line okay so uh, for legend i will pass here a label okay so just write here l a b e l label is equals to and then my label will be the shop name okay so just write here f i l e file dot n a m e name okay and uh, let's uh, assign a marker to it as well so m a r K E R marker is equals to and i will use circular marker so the symbol for circular marker in matplotlib is this o okay let's save it but uh, my labels will not work okay so we need to write here an extra line again so just write here plt dot leg and legend okay and now you will be able to see these markers so let's save it and uh, let's reload this application again just browse files select these four files okay uh, select shop one shop two and then shop three okay and let's visualize this gpu and yeah now i think my graph is looking quite good okay so we have here gpu we have here debt okay we have here gpu chart and these are all my legends okay and then we have these markers and everything is quite good and one important thing that is it is updating in real time so if i click on this mouse my graph has updated we have now mouse chart here we have mouse and everything else is fine okay so if i remove this shop 3 from the list okay from the selected files just remove it and now i have only two lines shop 1 and shop 2 and this legend is also positioning itself automatically okay so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this data visualizer app and you can add bunch of features to it you can add bar charts you can actually track your information in real time using different python modules and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye